Welcome to our first video of the Surveyor Negligence Series. I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman. I'm excited you're here. And in this first video, we are going to talk about why surveyors get sued. Reason number one, malfeasance. The surveyor is expected to meet a certain level of duty. They have fallen below that duty and therefore they are negligent. This is the most common type of duty, breach, damages scenario that landowners, business owners, attorneys run through in the surveyor negligence issue. And I get to ask a lot of time whether the surveyor met or did not meet certain standards. Now, it could be for a boundary, construction defect, location of an easement, all kinds of reasons. But this is just the generic surveyor breach of duty scenario. But there are so many more. The next one is probably one of the most common, and that is the fee dispute. The surveyor has agreed to provide certain services for X dollars. And the surveyor did the services, the bill is presented, and it is significantly different than X dollars. It's X dollars times five. Surveyors not happy, clients not happy. Fee disputes are very common. Third, lack of communication and lack of performance. Now, I guess you could say this might be a non-performance, which is a broader category, but I have seen so many board complaints against surveyors where it's not a performance issue, it's a communication issue. You have promised the client to complete the job in one month, 30 days. Two weeks goes by, four weeks goes by, six weeks goes by, three months goes by, no product. Surveyor is not returning the phone calls. And because of the surveyor lack of performance, non-feasance, something happens. The deal goes south. The deal is not consummated and your client has lost a lot of money. The surveyor relies on another surveyor's work in the performance of his own duties. And guess what? The previous surveyor's work was wrong. Had a good friend in Orlando years ago. They took over the construction surveying of a residential subdivision halfway through. Well, the first half, surveyor X did all the work. So my friend, you know, reviewed Surveyor X's work generally, looked pretty good, kept on building the subdivision. Well, it turns out the previous surveyor, Mr. X, made a gross blunder in the boundary determination of this subdivision. And my friend got sued. And you know what my suggestion to him was? Just pay the damn damages. Pay it. Call your insurance company. Pay it. Because if you as a surveyor come in halfway through a job and you accept the work of another surveyor, you are probably going to be liable for that previous surveyor's work. And that's why I never rely on the work of a previous surveyor to do my own job. I will analyze the work of other resurveyors and accept or deny, but I'm not gonna take a job halfway on and complete it. Too dangerous. The next thing, is called slander of title. Now we'll talk more about these different actions in another video. But if a surveyor publishes a map and he says, your boundary is in this location, but in fact, that boundary is somewhere else and the surveyor publishes this map and the surveyor gives the map to use to other people, whatever. If the surveyor has relied on the wrong principles, if the surveyor has misappropriately applied those principles in the practice, if the surveyor has published a false statement, whether that was done recklessly, negligently, on purpose, whatever, that could be slander of title. And that's a very, very dangerous claim. 
And the last reason why surveyors get sued is unauthorized practice. Now, I've got a survey license in Kentucky, West Virginia, Florida, Texas, wherever. Now, in some states, if I come over and provide an expert opinion in Timbuktu, some states classify an expert report or testimony as practicing survey. So if Alaska says the practice of surveying includes offering testimony, I better go get my Alaska license. Same thing. I've seen surveyors in Virginia cross over into West Virginia, do a survey without ha having a West Virginia license. Unauthorized practice, invalid survey, you can get sued by your client or possibly somebody else. So just to recap all of our different reasons why a surveyor gets sued, not meeting standards, not doing the work, offering the wrong services, not being licensed, fee disputes, lack of communication, many different reasons why surveyors get licensed. And that's why the last video in the series will be how a surveyor protects himself from these claims. Stay tuned.